Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, the trade deficit. America's trade deficit has been one of the biggest drains on the economy. Over the past four decades, this country has lost over $7 trillion to international commerce. When adjusted for inflation as of 2009, this total soars to more than $9 trillion. This money not only goes overseas to help other countries develop their own economies, but it returns via foreign direct investment to buy out American assets and corporations. The simple fact is that there can be no hope for an economic recovery or revival when the United States maintains this deficit. When compounded with the federal government's own shortcomings, the deficits of trade and the federal budget become a monster. Professor Peter Morisi of the University of Maryland, in writing for TradeReform.org, believes that the White House is doing far too little to solve this problem. As our money flows overseas to foster foreign development, the demand for American goods is replaced by homegrown industries abroad. Furthermore, these industries eventually capture American jobs and production due to labor imbalances, government incentives, and insurmountable differences in the cost of living. Professor Morisi estimates that this siphoning effect of the trade deficits have, in the past 10 years, made the United States economy up to $1.5 trillion smaller than it could be. For a workforce of approximately 150 million people, this works out to cost each worker roughly $1,000 per year in lost income. The government's fiscal deficit may be one of the most difficult fixes in the economy today, but the trade deficit can be easily erased by a sound, long-term policy. By instituting tariffs or a domestic value-added program, the United States could bring in revenue as foreign producers pay for entry into the world's greatest consumer market. This revenue could then be used for domestic programs which build up manufacturing, as is the case in every other country in the world. Eventually, the now battered industrial complex of the United States would be back on its feet. Accomplishing this would only require the White House to take a stand against foreign governments opposed to such programs for their own self-serving reasons. The, leg the legislative and executive branches need to make it clear to the world community that they are looking after America's best interests. Everyone will be better off in the long run if they do. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyincrisis.org. Wake up, America! Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.